Hey, what's up friends? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own silicone slot car tires using Smooth-On's Moldstar 31T. This is a 30 Shore silicone, fast drying, a little softer than like a stock AFX tire, but uh, not too soft. I've been doing some experimenting and uh, I like the, uh, the 30 Shore. 20 Shore is pretty good for maybe like a T-Jet or a non-magnet traction, but uh, anything with magnets, 20 is just a little too soft. 10 is way too soft. You get a lot of rollover and stuff. But uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Pretty simple process. Um, and I'll walk you through it step by step. All right, so I'm just starting out with a block of wood. Just a piece of three quarter. You could do this with cardboard. Um, anything really that, you know, you can put your base on, but I like this three quarter and this is Gorilla Tape. I'm cutting it almost to the size of the wood, just a little bit smaller. I forgot how sticky this stuff is. Here's my width. Cut it the other way. So I'm going to put that sticky side up. So that's what my tires are going to stick to so they don't move around. Now, if any of you wondering, now we're gonna hold that down. Sorry, I had tape on my finger. So take a little bit of the excess and go the other way. just to hold it in place. And I'll take some blue tape. Since it's a little easier to work with. And just finish off the sides. Can do it all in blue tape. It's all personal preference here. So that's the first step. Got my block of wood. One thing I forgot to mention is I got my size because say roughly four tires will fit pretty evenly on there. So that's how I came up with the size. You can do just you know for one tire or ten tires all personal preference now the next step I take the blue tape and make my sides again you could do this with cardboard and hot glue um, you can do it with plexiglass, you can do it with wood. I just find that the tape is quick and simple just for making a quick mold box. Wrap it a couple times just so I have a little bit of rigidity. And then I'll just bend my corners a little just to make it square. box sticky base sidewalls of the mold box and we're ready to set the tires in all right so i got four tires here 
I am doing uh, Auto World T-Jet style tires. I'm using a pair of tweezers just so I can place them. And I'm just going to place them. That Gorilla Tape grabs. That's the whole reason for the Gorilla Tape. When I first started doing these, I was hot gluing them into place. And uh, it was really hard to get an accurate uh, base that way. I had silicone going underneath them, getting a lot of flashing that way. Yeah, I'm just setting them in place. They don't have to be too even. Just like that. Press them down good onto that Gorilla Tape. And we're ready to do our first pour. Smooth On does have some good resources on their website. But uh, for, you know, measuring your mold box and stuff and seeing how much material you're going to need, I just make a little line on some old cheap Dixie cup things here. A and B. This is a 50-50 by volume or weight. Um, yeah, and then I'll just I'll fill each one to the line and uh, mix them up. All right, I'm mixing my material now. Nice and easy. I don't want to whip too much air into it. But this stuff does have a five minute pot life, so you gotta move pretty quick. Um, I like to transfer into a second container and double mix. Now, the one thing you wanna do is pour into the holes. Um, Cause I've, I've done a few now where Pulled them, pulled the mold apart, and uh, I didn't have any in inside the inner hub of the tire. So I usually fill the inner part of the tire first. Just a nice slow stream, try and get out any air bubbles. I know it is a five minute pot life but you still got to make sure you get your coverage I'm just poking around to get rid of any air inside the inner hub and then I'll just move to the, the one corner and pour in one spot and just let it find its level I just like to make sure those inner parts are full You can actually see, probably not on video, but you can see the air bubbles working themselves out. And uh, you can do pressure cast, uh, you know, pressure casting, pressure pot, get the air bubbles out. I've never had to. I've always had decent luck with just doing it this way. Could also use something with a, a longer pot life, longer cure time, and let let the air bubbles work their way to the surface over a longer period of time. And yeah, now we'll let that sit for 23 minutes. That's our demold time. Let's see right here, I got an air bubble. Just pop it, and let it settle. All right, we'll let this thing sit. All right, friends, here we are back for the demolding process. 
been about 30 minutes now. So this is why I like the tape. Makes it nice and easy to demold. off to the side, pop our tires out. There's our mold. Now we'll come back through with another pour and fill the uh, crevices there. So let's get to that. All right, so I changed the angle up a little bit here just so you can see what I'm kind of doing. And this, this is a really small mold. We don't need a lot. These cups are kind of too big for this application, but it's what I have, so it's what I'm using. That's part A. I'll do part B. Pretty much right to my line. Just like that. That looks pretty good. So you can mix it like this. You'd have clear tires. That's fine. This is not necessary, but uh, I'm going to add some black pigment. This is the Smooth On uh, UVO Black. You can do any color you want, really. You could do whatever color they have, blue, uh, orange, anything, anything to your heart's desire. But uh, I'm gonna do black, because I like black tires on my cars. Well, it's weird. It's like, it's like static cling or something to the side of the cup. I just put a couple drops in each one. Um, another thing before I mix that, you're going to need some kind of mold release. This is just, uh, the Manny's release 200. I'll put all the links for this stuff in the description below, but, uh, if you don't use a mold release, you're going to have a big paperweight. couple spritzes and then uh, I'll get an old paintbrush just kind of spread it around in there make sure it's got good coverage and then I'll just do just a quick mist so no overflow or anything sticks There's that. And now we can start mixing. Just go to the other one, mix this pigment in. don't typically recommend this, but I'm just going to go back and forth for the sake of time and saving, uh, saving cups. 
because I am running low. Got to order some more. Like I said, five minute pot life, so you do have to work pretty quick. Make sure you scrape the sides. Don't want to get too aggressive though, because you can whip a lot of air into the the mix, and then go back to the first cup just to get a thorough mix. Is here a couple more scrapes. Mixing it thorough is key, but also paying attention to your pot life also key. And then just help it out a little bit. Just fill your mold. Try and squeeze any air out. Let that sit for a minute and we'll bring my this is another mold I made before. This is my AFX mold, but I got extra materials, so I'm gonna mix some of these, fill some of these in too. It's almost like squeegeeing, like screen printing, kind of. Squeegee it in. And if it's your first time, maybe maybe use um Moldstar 30T instead of the 31. That has a little longer pot life. You don't have to rush. You can take your time a little more. Still a 30 shore silicone. Um, that might be an option for you. I just like the I like the quick drying, so I can. Bust out more tires in a shorter amount of time. I'll use the longer stuff for more complex molds, like body molds and stuff. But for tires, the quicker I can bang them out, the better. I give them away. Give them away to guys in the club. Friends. Newbies. Down at the hobby shop, I've given a bunch of tires away. I tell people, they're not perfect, but they're pretty dang good. That's it for another 30 minutes. Come back and demold. All right, here we are. Moment of truth. Demold time. Just pop the tires out. yourself a pretty nice HO tire, T-Jet tire, 
Auto World Thunder Jet 500 is what the original came off of. But these will fit any kind of T-Jet. Uh, what was it? The tough ones. I had the wider wheels. But I'll get rid of some of this. It's flashing. I'm not going to waste the time on the video. But this will all peel off and clean the mold up. And then... Yeah, there's some flashing on the tire. Just take a little pair of scissors and clean them up. I'm gonna clean these up, get them on a car, and uh, let's get it over the track and see it run. All right, here we have the stock Auto World. It's pretty fast, but these um, hard rubber tires aren't the best. So. Let's go to a pair of our silicones we just made. Stick them on. Did you see they fit nice? Even seems a little smoother. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's how you uh, you make a one-part mold uh, using Moldstar 31T. Um, like I said before, this is a fast-drying uh, 30 Shore silicone. Um, you can use any of the Moldstar series. Um, the Moldstar 30T is uh, a little bit slower drying, so if it's your first time, uh, use that. That'll give you a little more pot life. You don't have to feel so rushed. Also, it will allow uh, the, the air bubbles to find the surface uh, quite a bit better. Um, but yeah, I, I just like to pump tires out and, and get them going. There's the, uh, the tires we made. Two extras. And they're a pretty, pretty accurate... This is side by side. This is a, a bit harder than this, but this is hard rubber and this is uh, softer 30 shore silicone. Uh, they also have urethane products. If you're, you prefer to run urethane tires, I know some guys like to run urethane, um, but it's the, all the same, all the same concepts apply. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you can go out and make your own tires now. I mean, that that bottle, uh, 30, 30 bucks or so, uh, get a lifetime supply of any tires that you're, you're going to need. But, uh, yeah, until the next one, take it easy.